welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this look using the Trixie Cosmetics Daytime Realness Eyeshadow Palette. So it's her newest product that's come out and it's all blue themes with a bit of greys and silver. It's taken off of like a TV news channel. So it's all themed um, in that way, but it's so much fun and it's such a beautiful product. I wanted to share how much fun I've been having using the glitters and the palette and that sort of thing. So stay tuned and I will show you how we got to this look. So for this occasion, I actually wore, oh, you can't even see it. It's a, my Trixie shirt and it says, I love myself, but I don't like the way I am. So I'm gonna wear it today because we're doing Trixie makeup. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my foundation. So obviously Trixie doesn't have foundation or anything, but I'm gonna prime my face with the it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Makeup Setting Spray Long Lasting. So I got this tiny little sample of it from Mecca. So I'm gonna use that now. It's quite good. I've used it before and it's just sort of dewy and gives the skin a bit of moisture, but also keeps all the makeup on top matte. This one, it doesn't smell the best, but it works really well. So I pop that on. Just gonna let that set for a second. Sorry about the washing machine. It's the only time I could do my washing right now, but I'm sure you can hear me fine. So for foundation, I use this Juno sponge and it is like a, it's fur, it's furry, but furry is probably not the nicest word to describe it. It's like, um, it's soft, velvety. It actually comes quite small. That's my dog, I'm so sorry. Um, it actually comes quite small and then when you wet it, it gets a bit larger. So I swear by these sponges now, I love them. I'm gonna use that and then I use the Revlon foundation. And that one is the normal to dry and it's the color 110 Ivory. This is the lightest one um, and it's probably just perfect for me. I sort of struggle to get foundations that work because of how light my skin color is. Um, so I'm gonna just pop this one on now. As you can see, it is very, very light, but it pretty much suits me. I don't fake tan or anything, so I never need to change foundations during the year. I just could pick the same one all the time. So I'm still going with the foundation. I've done about half my face now. Um, I also really like this Revlon Color Stay Foundation. Some people have mixed opinions about it, but I think it's really good. And about three squirts sort of covers my whole face, so just putting one more here. I look very white but it gets fixed so next I use this NARS concealer this is in the color Chantilly it's also the lightest color that you can get um, it is slightly lighter than my Revlon foundation so it works quite well so for concealer I usually do a bit under each eye like this and then I get a little bit more and I do it up my nose and then a little bit on the chin, and a little bit here. A little bit more on that eye. So now I'm just gonna blend this all in. In future videos, I probably won't show the whole foundation routine, but I thought I'd show you and then you can reference back to it later down the track. So my foundation is done and to set it, I use this Maybelline Fit Me in Translucent and it just takes the dewiness off of the foundation because I like my foundation quite matte. Cool. So now we get to move on to the actual fun stuff in the video. So using Trixie's products. 
So the first one I'm going to use for my cheeks is the Mod About You uh, blush palette and this one goes quite well with the daytime realness eyeshadow because it's orange based and the orange and blue looks really cute together. So I've used this before in a different video but that's it there. So there's Go Go Girl, Plush Bunny, Gleamsicle. So Go Go Girl is very pigmented and very bright so I'm just going to use the tiniest, tiniest little bit of it and put that on my contour shade there. So it just gives it a little bit of dimension and lifts it that tiny bit without being too super intense. And then for all over my cheeks, I'm going to use Plush Bunny, the lighter orange colour. So as you can see, a little bit really does go a long way. But it definitely lifts the look. And because I'm so pale, <laughs> so then I go back with my translucent powder and I just sort of try and blend it all together a bit, otherwise, on me, it does look a little bit too intense, but it's so cute. As you can see, it already has brightened up my makeup tenfold. I remember before I knew too much about blushes. Uh, when I was in high school, we did a musical theater production of Fame and I let someone else do my makeup and she put so much blush on that I literally looked crazy on stage. And that's, no one could tell me anything about the performance. Everyone just remembered how much blush I had on. So not falling for that trap ever again. So now I'm gonna go in with the highlight shade Gleamsicle, this one on the end here. And this is more like a goldy highlight. So it's really deep, but really shiny. So I always put it here. And I found with Trixie's blushes, I actually last pretty much all day, like really high. Really high quality. So you can see it's already starting to take off. Yeah, they last all day. I used her Summer of Love palette for work the other day. The pinks and the, the like white shimmer and it stayed on all day. I got so many compliments about it um, and I just felt really like confident and rosy cheeked all day, which was really great. And then I went to dancing where I sweated heaps and it still stayed on all day. So we love that, we love a bit of long lasting makeup. And with highlighter, I think it is never too much. Yes, you can see it's really lifted. Really lifted there. So I think that's enough on the blush palette. So I'm just gonna quickly fill in my eyebrows a tiny, tiny bit. So I use, it's a NYX Cosmetics eyebrow pencil. They used to have a different formula, so they've changed to this one. Um, the formula's great, but the packaging is not at all. As you can see, the lids just come off. They don't stay very well. So, which is frustrating because it's such a great, great product, but I'm gonna try probably some different eyebrow products so if anyone can recommend a really good eyebrow product I know that Anastasia Beverly Hills is quite good so I already have quite deep eyebrows so I just use a little bit to fill in the patches like I don't overdraw them or anything So 
as you can see, yeah, it makes a difference because it's just built in those little bits there. So nothing major. main event so this is Trixie Cosmetics daytime realness it's an eyeshadow palette and it's all blue themed so I got this a couple of weeks ago I bought it on the day it was released from TrixieCosmetics.com and it's a perfect little size it looks like a tiny cassette tape and it's the packaging is cute her packaging is always great like that is one of the things that always keeps me coming back for her products the thing I also love about this particular palette is it's small so a lot of palettes you get from bigger brands are these huge palettes which aren't very good for traveling and that sort of thing. Beautiful, but not that practical. Whereas this one combines a bit of both. It is beautiful, it's got great products, high quality, and it's a great little size. So that's the outside slip. So once you take it off, it looks the same. Then you open it up and it looks like that. So it's an eight pan and they're all named different things to do with sort of TV and TV reporting, which is the theme that Trixie was going for. So the colors are called Teller Evangelista, Daily Double, Weather Girl, uh, Zenith, Soapstar, Cut the Cameras, which Trixie always says, Static, and Channel Surfer. So for this look, I'm definitely gonna stay in the blues, obviously, and a little bit of sparkle to add some dimension. I also got the glitter that came with it. These one here and it's called For Real and it's like a deep blue sparkly glitter so I'll incorporate that somehow. So we're gonna start probably with Channel Surfer. So Channel Surfer is like this, oh, it's not a royal blue, it's just a very vibrant blue. Probably very similar to like Malibu Barbie's Bathers which is probably something Trixie was going for. And that one's called Channel Surfer, so I'm gonna put that. So I had to cut because my dog needed to come inside. We've got two dogs that I needed to swap. So back to what I was saying, using Channel Surfer, going to do my crease. So I've been trying to do my crease a little bit higher up lately to give my eyelid a little bit more room because I have sunken eyelids a little bit, so I try and Open them up. So the blue comes on quite nice, it's not too intense. It's a beautiful warm blue colour. So now I just do the same on the other side. So as you can see, it sort of cut the crease and left space on my eyelid itself. So then I'm going to come in with this one here, which is Daily Double, and I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eyes and blend it up into the crease as well. And I'm just using the Morphe brushes. This is just a, it's called JS8. So what I like about these blues is they actually blend really well together. So the whole palette is very cohesive. I'm just blending and smoking out. As you can see the difference, this one's quite blended. It's handy because it has a super cute little mirror on here and it's a perfect size for just seeing your eyes. So that's really coming together right now.
So then I'm going to switch brushes and I'm going to use Weather Girl. I'm just going to put a little bit of that next to the dark blue daily double to integrate it. So it's going to be sort of a wave of different blues. Now I'm going to take the colour Soap Star which is sort of a glittery blue and put that on the main part of my eyelid and blend it in to both Weather Girl and uh, Daily Double. These eyeshadows are also super soft and creamy so they feel really good on the eyelid when you put them on. I didn't need to put any eyelid primer on at all, usually I do, but these ones I've worn them before and they stay on beautifully all day. as you can see it looks like that so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with daily double this blue here the darker one and I'm gonna go on my waterline just on the outside and just put that together to smoke it out the tiniest bit and I go about halfway along <laughs> And then I'm going to go in with the colour Static and I'm going to do right in the corner of my inner corner of my eyes and then build it out and marry it in with Daily Double on my waterline. And it just gives it that little pop of glitter. So that's what we have so far. It's a really sparkly, really fun blue eye look. So now I'm going to use the glitter that came with this palette. And it's called For Real. Comes in a box like this. The sparkles are eye safe. It's this tiny, fine, sparkly stuff you can put on your eyes. The thicker glitter that she also does the sprinkles, they're for body and hair usually, but you can do sort of whatever you feel. And it's this really sparkly goth, um, blue glitter. It's almost got a, gro a green duo chrome to it. So this time, last time I used the duo glitter, uh, the duo glue to fix the glitter. But today I'm gonna try the Too Faced glitter glue. I've used this before a while ago and it works quite well. So I'm gonna see how it fares. So, I'm just going to dab a tiny bit onto my finger, like literally the tiniest little bit. And I'm going to put that sort of in the centre of my eye where all the colours merge together. Okay, I'm just going to leave it for a second and let it get quite tacky. And then I'm going to go in with a flat brush and put the glitter, press the glitter over the top. So you get a lot of product in this glitter. As you can see, it almost falls out when you open it because it's packed to the brim, which is a great thing. I want to spill it everywhere. So as you can see, I haven't brought that beyond the actual eyelid. It's just on the middle of the eyelid, right in the center, but blended loosely on either side so it uh, transitions well. So now I'm gonna do the other eye, exactly the same way. Two Face Glitter Glue on. I'm gonna let that get a little bit tacky. I'll show you this while I've got a sex, yeah. The glitter there, so it's 
very, very sparkly. So this is a type of glitter you could use to cover your whole eyelids as well, which would be super cute. But I've just done a little bit of, a bit of an accent, and that's more than enough. So, oh. mascara. I use this one here, and it's the Maybelline. Big Shot Colossal. I always use this one. I'm right down to the end. I'm still on the hunt for the Maybelline Sky High, which everyone is talking about. I also want to try the new Jeffree Star mascara, but being in Australia, it is a bit harder to get all the latest products. So we'll see how we go. We'll see what I get. But mascaras, I already have quite long eyelashes, so I just like something that's quite thick that'll give me a bit more volume and lengthen them the tiniest bit more. So I do a couple of, couple of, whoa, couple of coats on the top and then I also go underneath. And so now that's done, I'm just going to get a little brush and sweep away um, any of the fallout glitter that's on my face, which is a little bit. But it's not a bad thing because it just gives your face that little bit of a sparkle, I believe. Well, I think. I don't believe. I think. The more sparkles, the better. So finally, I'm going to use Trixie's lipstick and that's Model and it's the Butter Glaze. And I wanted a lipstick that wasn't too intense because the eyes are already quite bright. So this one here is glittery but it's more subtle if that's the word you could describe it with because it's all beautiful. So it looks like this here. It's like a really light pink, almost pearlescent. Just looked in the mirror and I saw how many moustache hairs <laughs> I have. How embarrassing! Um, lucky you can't see them on camera. I'm gonna have to fix that. Yeah, so it ties it all in quite well. That actually works well. So that's all the makeup on. So I'm just gonna quickly put on a little bit of an outfit and I'll be right back. So I'm back and this is the final look. And I hope you all enjoyed seeing how I got this makeup done and seeing the new Trixie Cosmetics eyeshadow palette daytime realness in action and sort of some of the looks that you can do. It's such a versatile palette and it's such high quality and such beautiful makeup. So you could play with it and do so many other different looks because there's greys in there and silveries and all other colors. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy playing with it. I certainly have. Whenever Trixie has a new product out, I can't wait to grab my hands on it and find new ways to do makeup and new things and keep it different so hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe for more videos like this one i try and get videos out at least twice a week once a week if i'm really busy but there's always new videos coming out always different stuff whether it's barbies whether it's makeup uh, vlogs all that sort of thing so i'll see you guys in my next video enjoy your day or whenever you're watching this and i'll see you soon bye